Mm. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yo, it's okay, okay. If you're new here, welcome. So on my channel, I share my journey of um, migrating from South Africa to the United Kingdom. I'm a nurse by profession. So I get to take you through um, nursing in the United Kingdom. If it's something that you're interested in, please do subscribe, like and comment and share with other people who might um, want to learn more about nursing in the United Kingdom from other countries. Yeah. So the last couple of weeks have been hectic. Yeah. I mean, like now, I've got flu. Um, last week, it was raining, it was cold. It was not pleasant. Um, I can't even say trip. It was just tiring. Because training starts anytime from 9 until 8 in the evening. And you know that I already work 12 hour shifts. So this was also too much for my body. Did that for three days, came back by a train. Um, on the train, it was full, like super, super full because it was the day before trains went on a strike. So, yeah. So a lot of trains kept on canceling, canceling, canceling. And then people who were catching a train to this side had to jump in on that one train. When I got there, buses also canceled. So I got home probably an hour late again and then yeah saturday i was off but i went um to visit my friends on the other side of town <laughs> so i went to visit my friends and then the sunday i was in the monday i was in tuesday i was resting and then it was back the wednesday thursday and friday and today's the friday i started feeling sick so throat, um, general body malaise and stuff. But at this time and moment, I call in sick because, yeah. At this time and moment, I'm definitely, definitely sick. I'm coming down with flu, which is something that I wanted us um, to discuss, to say that as soon as you get to the United Kingdom, make sure that you look for a GP near you and you register with the GP. Register with whatever information that you have. You will need your passport, your BIP letter, your proof of residence, so that they see that you are in that, um, the catchment area for that doctor or medical center. Um, I had a letter from um, the delivery of my bank card, so I used that. Yeah, so register. So because I got sick now, that's when I thought of getting a GP. And it's definitely too late because registration takes like two to three days. I filled in the form at the medical center. They went in, I will then um, hear from them what they say. And then that is the only time I can book an appointment to see the doctor. Or the doctor can also um, do a virtual consultation where I get to tell him my symptoms and everything. And then I could get a script and collect my medication from my nearest pharmacy. So now because I'm not um, registered with any doctor, I can't get a script, I can't get uh, medication. I had to buy my own medication. So I did get some medication. This is um, medication for day and night, for colds and flus. I also got um, some lozenges to help with the sore throat. Um, the other thing that I did is that, um, <coughs> mm. so I can't sleep in the same room where there's a newspaper or magazines, right? So I always grab a newspaper and the bus just to read about what's happening today, what's happening yesterday, just to update myself about all the things that are happening here in, in the United Kingdom. So the other day I came back from work very tired. I didn't um, take out the newspaper and keep it here in the kitchen. I just left it in my bag and then I started having the sore throat from then and then the flu came it made it even worse so at this moment i went to get um some home remedy stuff and also food that is easy to prepare so that i can spend most of my time resting and some fluids so i can just um take you through quickly um 
yeah so really this is my bread onion so that i can uh boil it in water cut it up and leave it in my room so that it can absorb all the nasty things in the room i've got some um ground chilies uh, i've got some cinnamon so i'll be using the cinnamon with the ginger as well as the garlic and lemon to fix up a concussion for this flu i got some strawberries some oranges pineapple some pears bacon because i want to cook um spaghetti with uh, bacon and chicken this is some curry powder these are oven baked chips because i'll be tired my granola to help with not preparing and then this is a garlic baguette so i'll be having that these are easy to grab as well yeah i also got some cheats some chocolate cake oh and then these i'll be having this today i hope it tastes nice i'll prepare that and then the rest is just oven baked pizza and then i've got my juice in there and then yeah peanut butter some honey to go with the concussion that i have here and marmalade i enjoyed this a lot so i'll be having toast with that so this is my mini essentials groceries that i'm going to need for the coming days and then yeah that is that you guys otherwise i know that i will get better um i just need to rest so i'll use these three days um to rest get enough fluids and just yeah allow my body to adapt to the weather to adapt to the 12 hour shifts and everything else but otherwise that is all for now we shall chat